Um, now on to again continuing in this chronological order, Morbius. Um, Myron, have you seen the Morbius film or no? I have not. Um, when I saw that Morbius was on the list today, I was like, do I have time to watch this before <laughs> this comes out? Because I've it's one of those where I'm like, oh, don't worry, I haven't seen Morbius either. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, it's one of those movies where I want to see it, but I wasn't in a rush to see it. It was like, okay, I'm gonna get around to it at some point, but I'm not like, ooh, I gotta go find that. Like some of the recent movies that have come out have been like, you know what? I want to wait, but I also don't want to spoil it dodge for a month. So I'm gonna go ahead and see this. Morbius wasn't one of them. It was more like, okay, I'll see it eventually. Um, the only I only know of again that was a just like you with um Venom, uh, Morbius is I only know about him through both Spider Man the animated series and that um uh, Maximum Carnage uh, Sega Genesis game I think oh, was that game where I forgot about that both. yeah that one was that one was pretty dope but like he was one of those um side characters like you could like if you you would see a little avatar of him laying on the ground so if you picked him up you can use him as a uh, as a special attack later in the game like as like i i tend to save him for boss fights like okay i'm saving like you could use morbius you could use uh cloak and dagger you could use iron fist a whole bunch of other special um cameo characters and you can use him as special attacks during the game so that i knew i know of him through that and through the cartoon but so i know who he is and what he can do better than that like I don't yeah. know too much about him. I'm um, I, I'm same here. Animated series. Uh, he was his first appearance was in the Amazing Spider-Man number one hundred and one in October of nineteen seventy one. Makes sense, October. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. Created by Roy Thomas and Gil Kane. Um, alter ego Michael Morbius, species living hu- uh, living vampire, aka human mutate. Team affiliations: Midnight Suns, Armored Legion of Monsters, Shield, and Agents of Wakanda. Okay. Is he portrayed as a villain in the animated series? I can't remember. I, I, don't I always remember got either. villain bias from him in the in the cartoon. I don't remember if he might have just been misunderstood and an antagonist as opposed to a straight up villain. I don't quite remember. Uh, yeah, I'm looking. I'm not going to read through all this. Uh, <laughs> Wikipedia. Okay, so like in the nineties, he he in the nineties he was a uh, anti. Uh, oh yeah, so his initial creation. Uh, so initially, his creation was a villain, but it was in the nineties mm-hmm. is when he became an antihero. Gotcha. Yeah, and then yeah, okay. Um, isn't Karen, it, isn't it like the? I'm not sorry. I, I was gonna say, isn't it like the the opposite of um, that quote from Batman? Either die a hero or live long, long live enough long see, enough to become a villain, villain. You, you, I love you, that quote. You're, you're either born you're, you're either born a villain or you live long enough to become an anti-hero Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. there you go uh, um karen same question have you seen morbius or read any yes, of the comic what were your I thoughts i've not read the comics but that, that's a we don't yeah that's you know uh, there is nothing wrong with that yeah <laughs> I I, I, I I couldn't go I couldn't go along with I couldn't go along without saying the the the, 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 the my favorite yeah. quote for this channel. Um, I didn't even know yeah. who he was until the movie came out. What, what did you think when you heard that Jared Leto was going to play as him? Because mind you, years prior he played as the Joker. Yeah, it's like oh, he did not do such a good job as that. So it's like yeah, like yeah. Bold, like more pasty white. It's like mm. Matt Smith did a good it, Matt Smith did a good job, though, as, job as as a, as a villain. Yeah, because that's a pretty good villain, anti-hero. Um, but I thought he was alright in the movie. I didn't mind it. I know a lot of people were not a fan of it. But, like I said, I like movies most people hate. So I <laughs> <laughs> Some parts were a little cringy, but <laughs> it's more than It's more than time. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, that was, an, was that a... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, was that an actual <laughs> line? But I remember you said that... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I think it was. I can't remember. Oh Lord! Oh. It wasn't more. It, it was in uh, one of the trailers, but I don't think he actually said it in the movie. Oh, I'm good. I'm sure. Like when they saw when they saw the trailers, like wait, 
we don't we don't want that we we don't want that in the movie <laughs> it was done i think it was done specifically for the trailer oh, that's just good. to mm-hmm. get because that would have been laugh. really freaking cheesy if he said it's more than time is that, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> you know where that was going <laughs> But yeah, um, oh aside from aside from Jared Leto, how was the? I mean, I I'm like tempted to watch it now. Now that you can like rent it, um, but yeah, overall like thoughts on the movie itself, aside from Jared Leto. I mean, I like I like the storyline. You know, he's just trying to save himself. So, you know, that's in that part that's kind of realistic. Because who wouldn't be like you find a cure to something, even though if you don't know what's going to happen to you, worth a try. So, right. I think that's very realistic in that part, so I liked it. Oh, I, I, yeah. I enjoyed it. And just I, like I probably wouldn't have paid theaters for though. But... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I, I, I like, yeah. And just like Myron said, when it comes to Venom, like him and Spider Man are like, I mean, hell, you see in like in the trailer, and I think in the movie when he uh, meets uh, Vulture, you see that you see that mural or poster of Tobey Maguire Spider Man on the wall. With murderer slipped across it, huh? With the word murderer painted upon it in the trailer, it's like okay, you're gonna have Spider Man, but you're not gonna like show. But you show that is sp- another thing that never shows up in but, the movie. Though. But you, but you show a uh, vulture, um, at the end who is from uh the ho- uh, the Tom Holland Spider Verse because he got transported. So it's like, what's going on here? <laughs> A crisis of Infinite Earths kind of thing, uh-uh. <laughs> kind of is yeah. Right? Like I hope they go somewhere with that because I think before I go on, ask talk to Bob. I think uh, the issue they have with the Spider Verse is they never continue it. So far, Tom Holland Spider Man is supposedly continuing, but knowing yeah. knowing the track record for Spider Man films, we never get more than like three films. I think it is confirmed they're working yeah. on a fourth movie. Okay, so Tom Holland make it a Tom Holland make it a and fourth film, and they're still he's still yeah. under contract to do a uh, uh, do an appearance in a straight up Marvel film as he did for the first two, uh, as he did in the uh, um, Infinity War and Endgame and Game. Okay. Civil War. Okay, I we'll hope see. he stays Spider Man for a while. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll 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 see. Yeah. Even though he said by third, he didn't want to be it, but like, well. as I pointed out a while ago, I think on Twitter. Um, Tom Holland has yet to appear in a Marvel movie that does not have a colon in its title. Mm. <laughs> that is a nice piece of absolutely useless trivia. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so just um, Bob, same question. Uh, have you seen um Morbius? Oh yeah, I saw what? it. What I saw it in the theater <laughs> opening weekend. Um. It is, well, it is uh, about equal parts superhero movie and horror movie, oh. and I am not a fan of horror. Uh, <laughs> you don't, we don't, we don't see a little, a whole lot of horror in comic book movies unless you're talking about Blade. And I'm talking yeah, about the so, first. I'm talking about the first two Blades. Oh, yeah. yeah. In this, but in this case, it really had a, a horror movie vibe. I am not a fan of horror movies, but I really, really liked this film. Um. Uh, I really, if I, I enjoyed it all the way through. I this came. I got that kind of feel from the trailers that it was going to be about equal parts uh, uh, superhero and horror, and so I say, okay, we'll go with that. And it really, uh, kind of nailed that mashup of the two genres. Um, and Jared Leto. I actually liked Jared Leto. What he did with the Joker, uh, what he did with the material that he was given playing the Joker in Suicide Squad, mm-hmm. um, other things about that, other things about that portrayal, uh, two thumbs down, uh, and probably a, a couple of other digits as well. But um, <laughs> as far as the man, as far as the actor himself, I think he did. I think he did fine with what he was given. And with this one, I think he did an excellent job. Matt Smith, of course, did an excellent job mm-hmm. as Milo. Um, in fact, I don't. I don't really have any complaints about any cast members. It's all really pretty good, right down the line. In in Morbius, oh, yeah. and just and just like with Venom and these other films we talk about, this is they're pitting two characters against each other you know both are vamp both are metahuman vampires 
Yeah. Uh, uh, well, Milo uh, is a composite character based somewhat on Morbius himself. Okay. So, um, and it, it is interesting to notice that um, Morbius, you know, as you mentioned, he was part of the Midnight Suns, and they do seem to be bringing together, Marvel does seem to be bringing together the Midnight Suns in the MCU with uh, Blade and Black Knight. And uh, I think there was at least one other um, coming up there who was going to be a part of that. So is but, Blade? Uh, of course, that but that would that would depend on them. Um, 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 bringing bringing Morbius into the MCU. Yeah. If they're going to use that. So far, I've looked at I've looked into it. I, I typed I looked up Jared Leto on IMDb. So far, there are no projects where he's going to return as Morbius. Yeah, which um, kind of is too bad because of the well, I, I won't spoil the post credit scene, but that's um, oh, I know, I know the post credit scene with uh, okay. Bol but with if you Vulture. know the post credit, you know the post credit scene. Not everybody does, but spoilers. Um, yeah, but uh, Amy Pascal has said that they are going to get somehow or other get a Sinister Six movie, and that post credit mm. scene was supposed to yeah, we be part of to... bringing that together. But they may have to send they may have to send Adrian Toomes back to the MCU with Scorpion. Yeah, uh, yeah, we were supposed to get that with the Andrew Garfield movie because it showed Green Goblin. We saw um, Otto Octavius and Rhino, but that was it. That was nothing, it. They never nothing. They've nothing been wanting to it. since early on, and uh, oh. um, if we learned anything the, with comic yeah. book, if we learned anything with comic book movies or comic book teams, it's not always. It doesn't always translate well. Yeah. Yeah, but Sinister Six is one that would have. They were going to do. They were wanting to do a Sinister Six movie that didn't involve Spider Man, and I don't really think you can do that properly. No, because it's Sinister Six. They did it with Sinister... Venom. You can't do that with Sinister Six. Oh yeah, yeah like, no. that is one. Why it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like the, the Superman oh. Revenge Squad without Superman. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. But, uh, <laughs> but that's my take on on Morbius. I I I love the movie, um, and uh, I would watch I would watch it again. And I really, it is an enjoyable movie, especially if you like horror movies. But as I said, I didn't like I don't tend to like horror movies, and I love the film. It's funny you 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 don't like it. It kind of intrigued me more here in horror. I'm like, oh, okay, I might push it up in the in the watch queue. Yeah. It's hard, hard, it's, hard and it's rather. if I'm not mistaken, it was PG 13. Yes, okay, because I know Marvel doesn't really, uh, Marvel hasn't done many rated R stuff since like Blade and um Punisher. Has Marvel have done any? Uh, well, no, wait, I think oh. they're the only, I think one. the only R that we've seen so far with, with Marvel have been the Deadpool movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the Deadpool movies. Well, that's okay. that's 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 Fox. Yeah. And, oh yeah. Well, sure. and back, but and Deadpool back, three is 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 oh, yeah. uh, from Disney and it's going. Oh be yeah, R. yeah. It's going to be R. I mean, I hope it, it better is. So, I as I said, I haven't mm. seen Morbius. I seen the trailers. I remember him briefly from the animated series as a kid, wearing that black leotard outfit with the red. You know. Yes, I'm. Yeah. I'm old enough that I actually read the comic where that where he debuted when it came out. Oh, in seventy one. Oh, yeah, nice. Because I, oh. I was, you know, I was born in sixty one. So, so you, you were like you were like ten years old. Yeah. So, <laughs> wait, you're born. Yeah, wait, you were born in sixty one. Yeah. <laughs> I always forget so, that. <laughs> yeah, I, I always forget Bob is our senior member here on uh on this on the, in this in this group oh yeah I'm not poking fun at his age anyone who thinks i'm not doing that go oh. ahead <laughs> I, don't <like. laughs> I don't mind bald jokes either so <laughs> um um leave the autism jokes to me though um <laughs> yeah, i'm just gonna never i'm gonna never mention when my parents were born on this, on this podcast <laughs> yes yeah, oh. oh yeah so um Looking at it, yeah, that's uh, that Morbius was uh, was last year. I thought I'd be able to find the rating on the on its uh, Wikipedia page on my over here on my other monitor. Yeah, Morbius. Or one of my other monitors. Yeah, it came in like what 20, 2022. 
I don't want to look at. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Really? It feels like it's been out longer than that. It feels like it. It feels to me like it's been less than that. But uh, it, it feels. I'm... It feels like it's been like. And I mean, I will say about Morbius's like look. I mean, if I can find like his face does look accurate to his comic book, and I'll show a comparison. Mm-hmm. Like his face, oh, yeah, yeah, does. I mean, yeah, that CGI and I think some like special effects makeup, but that like. I will give this to Sony. They, did they, it. they do their best they can to make these characters look comic book accurate. And this one, at least at least in the face, uh, they nailed it. Totally nailed yeah, it. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Compared to like, uh, I mean, like, look at this. I mean, this is like his look from 2013, but it's like a 2013 look. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I know so, Sony will never do it to where they'll have their characters wear the accurate yeah, looking fit. suits. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of looks silly in my opinion. Mm. <laughs> it looks like him, something that he would have been wearing on Halloween and just seeing him, seeing him wear like a, seeing him wear seeing him wear the leotard and everything. I mean, someone yeah. did this like fan art of Morbius. I don't know who the artist is, but someone did like a fan art of Oh. Okay. It's pretty interesting. Um Last but not least now, a movie I've never seen, and I feel like I'm going to say this right now, after seeing originally being introduced to Black Adam in the games and, like, animated stuff, I was hoping he at least would have had hair and not be bald. Mm. Coming, from someone who is, coming from someone who is bald, and I don't mind bald superheroes, um, Myron, w- what did you think of Black Adam compared to his comics? So, I know of black adam but i don't know about black adam if that makes sense like hey, I knew, that's I, that's same here <laughs> yeah i enjoyed it at the same time with the rock like i, I say this <laughs> I, I like the rock don't get me wrong but i'm pretty sure some people would not disagree with me when i say that the rock just plays himself in a lot of movies no it's 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 accurate yeah, so there wasn't no point in that movie that I really felt like I was watching Black Adam as opposed to I'm watching The Rock play Black Adam. Like when I, for instance, when I watched uh, Ali with Will Smith, I really, I didn't feel like I was watching Muhammad Ali. I felt like I was watching, watching Will, Smith Will Smith play Muhammad Ali. When I saw Jimmy Fox play Ray, I felt like I was watching Ray. Oh yeah, no, yeah. it's like it's you can tell. I mean, like they did their. I mean, not to deviate, but yeah, they did their best to make sure to find someone who looked like um Ray Charles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to look at what uh, Black Adam's original looked like from the comics, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, no, it, no cape, just a, basically a. A one piece suit with like with yellow, boots. With, with yellow <laughs> boots, wrist guards, and then like a poorly, I mean, no disrespect against the artist, but a lightning bolt. Yeah. If we with the, with got, the pointed with the pointed ears. If we would have got the rock from short, shortly after Nation of Domination rock in, in WWE. Oh, basically, like when he still had it, like when he's, yeah, when he still had his hair. Give me a minute. Uh, that rock. Could... Oh yeah, when he was doing the WWE. Right. Yeah. That that would have been more to me more believable. So, as... like, uh, for example, um, uh, ba, 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 ba. I mean, Mike Adam has that major widow's peak. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that rock. Yeah. Yeah. That before rock. he like before he really before like so around the time when he was doing movies like, um, the Rundown, <laughs> Walking Tall, Scorpion King. Yeah, uh, uh, be cool. Um, yeah, when he was when he was when he was just dipping his toes into acting, but not like right, but still like, see that like right there that like that screams Black Adam. It does. It does. When he was like when he still had like that darker tan look, Mm -hmm. and not more like the the bronze skin he has. Like that screams, and I'm sure anyone who does who anyone watches can agree. This like this is what comes to mind when I think of Black Adam. Like. If they made a Black Adam movie back when Rock was still like that, no disrespect against The Rock, but like I would have loved to seen a Black Adam movie like the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. 
So yeah, I mean, it was a fun movie. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna say completely that I'm glad I didn't see it in the theaters. Like, I don't think it would have been a, a like a waste, but I'm also not upset that I waited. So. And here is Black Adam from the Injustice One game too. So like, kind of. I'm getting some some Namor vibes from the from the face. Yeah, and yeah. here is what he looks like in Injustice Two. Yeah, the game. Yeah, more like mm. Superman, kind of. But yeah, yeah. The, well, like... when the Injustice Two came out, they basically tried to make him look more realistic and less. Yeah, but yeah, no, I I I agree. I think this is what more. So this is a different skin from Injustice Gods Among Us. This is what I think they made more based off uh this is like what the rock looks like for mm. the new but yeah oh oh yeah overall thoughts on the black adam movie because you said you did see it right yeah yeah, yeah decent movie <laughs> uh, I, I i i think they were just trying to add to so much too much into one movie from what i've seen trailers and they were like adding dr fate they were adding this that character, about right. that character yeah. is like you can make a great movie and not need every comic book character. I think we've learned that from like X Men Three, yeah. Spider Man Three. <laughs> yeah, we're going with a <laughs> Mortal Kombat Com- Mortal Com- Society, Mor- Mor- Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Like you don't need all these characters to make the movie how you would think it would be great. They're going with them as the as these four heroes as the Justice, Justice Society. Society. Yeah. So it was a little. So for me, in, in my mind, I haven't seen that, but it, it seems like it was actually a little small. I mean, I'm not. I'm like, I'm not harping on Pierce Brosnan playing as Doctor Fate. I think he did a good job. Um, Sam. I mean, Karen. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. Uh, Karen. Um, you <laughs> see Black Adam, right? Yes. What did you think of it compared to if you remember him like from the comics? Um, well, when I first like heard that they announced the rock, it's like, okay, maybe this might work depending on how they made him look. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Black Adam and Shazam and that they were like nemesis and shit. And like they did different stories and versions of it. But I liked it. I just, you know, they could have done a little bit better. But I love Dr. Fate, so he's my favorite part of that movie. <laughs> but I like how he was more of a conceived as a villain, because I mean, Black Adam's not a hero. He's a, he's an anti-hero in a sense. They, yeah, made, yeah. they 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 basically pulled a Morbius with him. Yeah, they made more like of a villain than an anti-hero, because he like that he never helped people, but he did. So it's like if it been if it if it benefited him. Yeah, if it had fitted his needs, then he would help. So, I don't know. He's kind of like more of an anti-hero than a villain. Hmm. Because I think what he was originally perceived as, from what I remember, I've always seen him perceived as a villain, never... Yeah. I mean, if I if I, if I want to count Injustice 2, where you actually do get to play as him in the story mode, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you know what his intentions are. Mm-hmm. He's he's doing it for him. He's doing it for his needs. So, it doesn't and... really make you a villain, you know, just... And he was going to be, you know, originally, the original idea was, you know, he's uh, Shazam's, you know, he's Shazam's arch nemesis. I think when we're going back to the original, we can say Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, yeah, that, (laughs) yeah. 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 (laughs) But yeah, he originally, he was going to do that, but then it's like, no, I'm not, uh, from the rumors I heard, Rock wanted to start something with Superman, because we see Superman Mm. at the end of Black Adam, but it's like... At the end of, I think, what was it, um, Shazam, the first one or the second one, the post credit scene where they were all sitting in the chairs and there's that one empty spot, which is meant for Black Adam. One. Okay, so that's what they were going to lead up to, but then it's like, rocks. Uh, they're like, no, I want to fight Superman. It's like, you, but you're not Superman's nemesis, you're, <laughs> you're, you're Captain Marvel's nemesis. Uh, mm. As much as a joke I would love to make out of that. Um... <laughs> Bob, same question. Um, thoughts on the uh, Black Adam movie if you've seen it, and what you can remember from from the comics? Yeah, I haven't seen it. I went and looked it up just to check. Um, and when uh, when Captain Marvel was in Fawcett, um, he only appeared once under the name of Mighty Adam. 
and didn't become Black Adam until he he was uh, uh, brought back by DC in the seventies. Uh, really, I'm looking. But, at, you know, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Fawcett Comics, nineteen forty. Okay, first appearance: the Marvel Family, number one in nineteen forty five. Yeah, okay. and uh, didn't come back until yeah. uh, until. DC started doing reprints in 72. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm looking mm. at that right now. Auto created by Auto Binder, CC Beck, Alter Ego, Teth Adam, Notable Aliases, Kim Adam, Theo Adam as a descendant, Mighty Adam, Teth Adam, the Liberator of Kondok, and Tethon. Uh, I probably butchered that name. And uh, his, his abilities come from Shu, Horus, Amon, Zahuti, Aten, and Mehen, and... Egyptian god deities. Okay, yeah. And back in the day, he was originally depicted as a supervillain. He wasn't was in... a supervillain. He was but it was basically he was uh um it was as it was described in the movie Shazam, the uh um he was uh, an earlier choice of uh, Shazam to to be his champion and he just kind of decided he could should rule the world. <laughs> yeah, since the 21st century, however, Black Adam has been redefined by DC Comics writer Jerry Ordway, Jeff Johns, and David S. Goyer as an ancient uh, Kondakai and corrupted antihero, attempted to clear his name and reputation. So basically, you know, how many years ago he DC changed his mind? Like he's no longer a supervillain; he's just a you corrupted know, truly, he's just a corrupted yeah. antihero now. Which yeah, he, they, uh, which they which as the theme goes on here, a lot of these again, a lot of these people were trained as villains, but they are more considered anti-heroes or martyrs. Mm. A lot of these, yeah. So I think the only one who the only one out of these that we're discussing who hasn't been some sort of anti-hero is the Joker. Um and even then there's White Knight. That's um, a, that's a gray area, but yeah. Yeah. But um yeah, he basically is was just kind of supposed to be the opposite number for Captain Marvel for uh, many years oh, and was and that would have been an, again as we talk about these collaborations with like you know the um, conflicts between the opposite numbers of the yeah same powers. so like seeing yeah seeing like these two basically gods you know go at it would have been cool would have been interesting yeah. to see what kind of would have been interesting to see what Zachary Levi would have uh, Zachary Levi Shazam would have said in a movie if he was to fight Black Adam I can't imagine but it would have been interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I mean, interesting for uh, um, what uh, uh, Faith Herman and Megan Good's uh, Darla Dudley would have would have been how he, she would have been. Yeah, because um, um, those two were were wonderful. Um, but um, yeah, originally the, the uh, okay. Yeah, the story, the, the old stories on on it, but I, you know, I haven't seen it. I agree as far as the the physical appearance. Um, you know, really, Dwayne, would it have killed you to have uh, hair and pointed ears? I mean, I don't know about the pointed ears, but at least hair. <laughs> I, yeah, mean, I know, a... I know, Black Adam has to be, been depicted without the hair and the not the pointed ears. Yeah, I don't but, think I've seen Black Adam bald other than that one picture that you showed up. But he, generally, he has that very distinctive widow's peak. But thanks to Myron, I yeah. can't get the I can't get the idea of how, how he looks like Namor the Submariner. Mm. <laughs> well, it's, there's a, it's, that's, that's not the only thing that he has in common with with uh, with Namor, especially uh, well, they're the both way he was portrayed in Wakanda Forever. So. Oh yeah, uh, uh, but the you know the the point of the ears and the widow's peak is something that they have in common, except that Namor has it with a flat topped head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's that, uh, movie that, that uh, picture rather that you showed from, what was it? Injustice two mm -hmm. made him look a little bit like, um, Kumail Nanjiani. Mm -hmm. Roughly. But that would have been yeah. weird to see. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, now... yeah, I, 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 that, I don't know much about about the movie other than what I've what I've already Same. said. I didn't go. I would have gone and seen it if not for the issue with "You Must Not Be Named," and um, no, mm -hmm, so and, her, and, who, and she who must not be named. Um. Anyway, now I think we have enough time here. Um, Myron, have you seen the Craven uh, the Hunter trailer yet? I've seen it once. Um, another person who i was introduced to through um the spider-man cartoon um 
I mean, it's, I'm, I don't know how excited I am to see it. I, I am, look, okay, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm not saying I'm excited to see it, but yeah, I, I think it'll, I think it'll be good. I don't know too much about his origin. Um, I mean, it's, it does spark me to want to go at, go back and actually see, um, I mean, I just know him for, as that uh, one or two time Spider Man villain from the from the cartoon, uh, but I it, but I am intrigued to like know more about him. Even if I don't rush to see the movie, I mm. do want to go back and see. Okay, what actually, what actually does make him interesting? What makes him? Because I, I think at one point Ryan Coogler wanted to have him as a Black Panther uh, antagonist. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that would have been interesting. So I, he was already on my radar to kind of look up and see, you know, just the depth of his character. So cautiously excited to see, to see the movie. Like I, I do want to see it, but I'm probably not going to rush to yeah. to go to go see it. Oh no, I I hear you. I know Craven's been introduced as a villain, but in this one, from what I've seen, and he's also played by the same guy who played as Quicksilver in yeah. um. In uh, Age of Ultron, really? Yeah, he, he, was, really he also to... he also played originally. He, he he was the main he was the main protagonist in the movie Kick Ass as well. Yes, I love right because wasn't wasn't both both Quicksilver's in Kick Ass? Yep, yep. That was referenced in WandaVision too indirectly. Uh, of course, ah, it was. gotcha, uh, gotcha. It was, but yeah, it's so weird how he goes from the scrawny kid playing as a vigilante. To playing as Quicksilver, who was originally like a villain, but then turned hero before he got turned into Swiss cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To yeah. seeing him play as Craven the Hunter. So mind you, Craven is Russian because he's from Volograd. Yeah. He's from Volograd, Russia. His alter ego is Sergei Nikolaevich Kravenov. I hope I pronounced that right. Human mutate, but in the Kravenov. movie. Kravenov is what I see, yeah. But in this movie, he's portrayed as British, and his father is Russian, who is played by the talented Russell Crowe. Uh, and I saw the trailer, and he's definitely an anti-hero from what I've seen, and it looks like he's like on a mission to kill these people that know his... I don't know from what I saw the trailer. It looks like he was like on a... Uh, like he's shaking off a list of people he was killing... And I also remember seeing in the trailer someone injecting themselves with like rhino DNA to turn into a a humanoid type rhino. Yeah, it doesn't look he's gonna fight the fight rhino. Is, is that is that who that is? It looks who like were... there's a right looks like rhino and chameleon and calypso are all part oh. of this, although calypso is a long way from the comic book calypso. Really? Mm -hmm. That should yeah, be so. so he, this so Calypso could... is a voodoo priestess, so I don't think it's the X Men Calypso. I was just about to say, I was like, hold up, this, this <laughs> don't sound right. <laughs> mind you, this, my is, mind... Mind you, this is. Oh, I'm looking up Calypso now. I think we briefly talked about Calypso and like one Calyp of the... oh, Calypso Enzili, who is uh, which is which yes is the Spider Man related character voodoo. Uh, priestess. But, but but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but, 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 but... Oh yeah, here is from the comics. This is Calypso with Craven the Hunter. Okay. And Calypso Angeli, who is, yeah. So there's a different Calypso in Marvel, or is it just the one? There's a Calypso that is related to the X-Men, who is right. one of the uh, Morlocks, the leader of the Morlocks, has an eye patch. Oh, Calypso <laughs> X-Men. Oh, oh, are you talking about Callisto? Callisto. Okay, okay. I got confused. My oh, bad. you mean... Uh... You know I what? Callisto. I don't yeah, know. What... I got confused. You, you, like... You're so right. It is Callisto, but for some strange yeah. reason, I heard Calypso. I don't. Yeah. That's, yeah. That was my yeah. My bad. My confusion. I was, but, think, yeah, I was, getting... I was thinking of that and the Calypso from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Yeah. <laughs> that's where my that's where my mind was. Oh going. yeah, Calypso. And this is what. Uh... So uh, here is what uh, I'm going to just show. So this is okay. Uh, ba, 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 I don't know if I'll get dinged for this, but this is what Calypso looks like from the the comics. I can't really show. Ah, uh, gotcha. And then this is what Calypso looks like in the Craven the Hunter movie. <laughs> mm. It just wearing the the weren't like wearing like a regular suit and 
like the 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 neck thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are... Uh, it's her name is Ariana Debo uh, Debose joins Sony's Craven. Uh, I don't know who she is. Ariana Debose. Ariana Debose. Um, relatively new. I see. Played Ali Anita in West Side Story. Uh, Wish, Craven the Hunter, the Prom. Ha oh, she was in Hamilton. So she's like yeah. done like, so she's oh, done Broadway. like, so she's basically done Broadway. This is like the oh. first time where. Oh, she's also she was also in Westworld. So she's in Argo. So yeah. she's so she she has some range. Yeah. I don't know what she's gonna do. Um, Mega Dune. Broadway to Marvel. That's a change. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Marvel tends to get their their actors from from anywhere, whether you're talking Disney yeah. or Sony. So, and I, I mean, you got you got yeah. It started with uh, uh, fading Oscar winner Robert Downey Jr. to uh, uh, superstars. Um, we have uh, you know big Oscar winners like Glenn Close. And we have uh, yeah, Tom Holland was also and from here Broadway. Is, really? Here is yeah. like the somewhat apparently official poster says. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It says villains aren't born they're made um, so maybe when it gets to the end he'll become the villain but go away so this is <laughs> so i'm not sure if that's like what he's gonna be wearing towards the end but it does look comic book accurate it I looks also looks frighteningly sweet. similar to a uh, fan art i saw a couple of years ago that had jason momoa as craven oh see that would have been cool to see yeah. jason momoa yeah but he's stuck. He, but he's. Uh, I don't know if you're ever. Uh, I don't know if you're ever. If you're ever uh, switch uh, teams to play as Craven because he's got to deal with DC to stay as Aquaman for who knows yeah. how long. Yeah. So. Um. Ryan's old did it, so you know. Yeah. Um, Karen. Ooh. Same question. What did you think of the Craven the Hunter trailer compared to if you ever seen him in like the comics? I haven't really seen him in the comics because I didn't really know who he was. I kind of had to look him up after I watched the trailer because I really liked the actor that played him or played him. So it's like, ooh, what's this? And it's like, that's interesting. He gives himself herbal potions to give him strength and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, that's interesting. But I'm kind of excited to see it. And it's a little violent. It's like my kind of thing. Yeah. It's supposed to be, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be rated uh craven the hunter i'm looking at right now movie uh rated r and it's being distributed by avi arad from um the guy who did who was was what who did x-men hmm. yeah avi arad why does that avi arad was one of the producers yeah i'm seeing here yeah uh, spider okay so yeah spider oh it was spider-man 3 so he did morbius the amazing spider-man 2 spider-man 3 beyond this uh Across the Spider Verse, Venom. Okay, so he's basically in charge of. What the... <laughs> oh, apparently they're making a uh, untitled Venom, uh, an untitled Venom film in twenty twenty four. So yeah, this is like Sony's first, the Sony Verse. This is going to be the first rated R film because Venom, the Venom, the Venom, yeah. The Venom films were PG-13, and Morbius, I believe, was PG-13 as well. It was, yeah. I, just, yeah. I found that out. So this is like... Yeah, I'm going to call it the Sony-verse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Sony, the Sony Spider-Man universe, I think, is what they're officially calling it. So that's the one with Tom Holland, right? Yes, it's, yes. Yeah. With Tom Holland, Tom Holland is in the MCU. All Everything else that Sony does, Marvel-wise, is in the SSU. So I'm kind of <laughs> curious. I'm kind of curious if... Because some people are saying, oh, they want to see Andrew Garfield fight, take on these guys, but he kind of had his, he kind of yeah. didn't. We'll see. Yeah. Um, he was an alright fighter. Yeah, same question for you, Bob. Uh, thoughts on the Craven trailer compared to from the comics? I haven't seen the trailer. I only know what I've what I've read and um, and heard from like emergency awesome and various other things so um it looks interesting looks like something i probably would go ahead and see i want to find out more about it but they uh they have me interested especially with uh um what they do with uh, chameleon 
I'm going to take a look up Chameleon right now because I don't know who that is. Oh, it's, he was featured very much in the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. I vaguely remember that, but I can't picture him. I mean... He, he think of him as a, kind of this guy with a blank face, has eyes, nose, and mouth, but uh, nothing really stands out as features. Let me see. Okay, what okay, I remember him now. You oh, wants to show you a picture, Myron. Okay. He looks like he basically he's a buff Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I put I, a, I'm, I'm seeing that. Yeah. And Stitch. I put a picture up in the chat in here too. That's from the Wikipedia page. That's gonna be interesting to see how they portray him, if depending on how they do oh, it. Oh, okay. I rem- I remember now. Yeah, I, I do see that he looks Voldemort-ish. I, That's going to be interesting remember. to see how he's portrayed in the Venom film. I remember one the Craven. one episode I remember him Craven. being in. I think he was impersonating Nick Fury, and the way Spider Man found him out was that he had his patch on the wrong eye. Yeah, yeah. I remember that's but that episode very specifically. But he had showed up a couple other times after that. But uh, yeah, that was the one where that was the episode that introduced Chameleon into that's that Spider Man. I wonder how they're gonna like. I wonder how they're going to do that in the Craven movie. They may not. They may. They may do it a bit differently um, than ha- him having this uh, um, featureless head. I'm kind of curious if they if um, we'll see if they have casted who was going to play him. Uh, but, uh, uh, see, um, going to be played by Fred Heckinger. Okay, I'm just going to see what this guy. This guy... Oh, he's young. He's 23 years old. Mm. Yeah. Um. So this is what Fred looks like. Want a picture of him. So that's going to be Chameleon. So I don't know how they're going to uh, do it with him. Um. Oh, okay, okay. I recognize him now. He was in uh, the Fear Street uh, series on Netflix. Oh, that's why he looks familiar. It's like, wait a minute, he's he's the guy always on to his hoods. Okay, <laughs> so last but not least, um, Myron, any other comic book characters, uh, villains you would like to see have an origin movie? Hmm. I know it's got to be some good ones I can think of. Um... I would love to see, and this we wouldn't get this for a while because it's X Men related and something that's been done before. But I want to see it completely fleshed out. Apocalypse. But Ooh. again, I know we we've had him before. It wasn't done right, in my opinion. We need to. He. I think like Oscar. It. I think Oscar Isaac did a good job of what he was given. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, with he what was. he was given, yeah, I know. We, I, I think we end up saying that a lot about a lot of things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's true. He, he did. A, <laughs> I, I love his acting skills. I just don't think he was the right person for Apocalypse. It's similar to the whole Eddie, Eddie Brock thing. Apocalypse is seven feet from the jump, mm-hmm. and only gets bigger from there. You don't cast somebody who's average male height. You know, I mean, look who they're that way. Look who they're casting to play as Shao Kahn in the Mortal Kombat sequel. I'm scared to look. I'll I'll show you. <laughs> well, con- 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 continue. Yeah, hope I'm it's like, not you... Martin Kleba. Was that was that the original guy? No, Martin Kleba. Oh, okay. Martin Kleba is uh, from Pirates of the Caribbean. He's the dwarf. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dang. Dang. Yeah, so like... uh this is the guy. This guy's name is Martin Ford, and this is going to be our Shao Kahn for Mortal Kombat to the movie. Okay. The dude is like uh let me see if I can't find it, but continue about uh apocalypse. But yeah, I'm like if they now if they would have CGI'd him up to actually be the right height from the jump, I wouldn't have been mad. Like they did like, like they did with Hulk. Yeah, yeah, or with um, 
Josh Brolin playing Thanos. They actually made him, they made him bigger than Thanos was supposed to be. Because oh yeah, it, 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 it's it was funny. menacing. It's funny. Josh Brolin plays two characters who, in the comics, are both six feet eight, six foot eight. He plays and Thanos, and Thanos, Thanos like... and Cable. Thanos and Cable are both six eight. They don't CGI him up at all for Cable. Oh, no. So he's actually shorter than he's supposed to be, and they make him bigger than way bigger than six eight as Thanos because Thanos was as big as Hulk and Hulk. Well, how, how, I mean, Hulk was what seven eight feet tall, roughly something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is uh this is what Martin Ford looks like. The dude is like jacked. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That, I, he's I, he's gonna be he's gonna be our Shao Khan for I Mortal Kombat that. too. I support that. Okay. But no, yeah, no, I, I don't get why I, I get why I, I don't know if it's because budget wise or they just wanted to show a more human side of Apocalypse, but I get what you're saying though. But I'm like, he's not I don't know that there's a human side to show with, with, with Apocalypse. He's not supposed to show a human side. Um I mean that's that's not a knock on you saying that. I'm just more of a that's just not who he is. Um but yeah, he was Good job of what he was given, but he, yeah, I feel his... like Apocalypse strikes fear in people, and I was not scared of him at all. I remember I mean, he when looked, he looked more like Ivan Ooze. I, yeah, I remember, I movie. remember when uh, pictures came out of him, how like the purple light shined on him, and people were saying he looks like Ivan Ooze. Yeah. Uh... And there was times that he sounded like Stewie Griffin as opposed to actual Apocalypse. Like, I, I guess maybe I was too stuck on his voice from the animated series. But yeah, I want to see him done. Like he deserves his whole. He deserves a whole MCU phase. I mean, that's how big of a villain like, he is. Here is I can't remember the cosplayer's name, but this is um this is a, a, a and you you guys probably all seen this apocalypse cosplayer. I have not seen have not. that this, particular one, but that this is my first time. But that I support guy, that yeah. one. I, I, I support I've that. seen. I mean, but again, cosplayers have more I know here's so here's a here's a comparison photo between the Ivan Ooze looking one and the cosplayer one but you gotta when remember a cosplayer can do better <laughs> when a cosplayer can do better than the movie something's wrong. And the thing is right. and the thing is cosplayers have a limited budget while movies have right. like a bigger budget. Exactly. But, exactly. but but the thing with movies when it comes to translating I'm sure they looked at Apocalypse like no we can't do that. We gotta make him look more human. Mm. Yeah but with Marvel they made they made Josh Brolin CGI'd everything and have him Thanos, and he looks like Thanos from the comics. But again, yeah. MCU, Fox, same you know, co- same comic you know, same type of comic books, just different iterations. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, if I can think of one before we get done, I'm trying to think of a villain that hasn't been done at all. Ooh, um, and there's a but... lot too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to think of one that hasn't been done that I particularly want to see, and I'm having a hard time thinking of it. So if if I think of something before we get done, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll shoot it out there. Um, Karen, what comic book villain would you like to see be turned either, you know, have a comic book origin villain movie? Deathstroke. I want a Deathstroke origin movie. <laughs> yeah, he's never, he's never, he's, he's never, never had, had one. one. He's he was he the first time we saw a live action version of him was in the That's Arrow the uh, mm. uh, Arrow at the end yeah in Arrow yeah, yeah he was first awesome introduced he was first in introduced and I think honestly that was the best version of of Deathstroke from the Arrow TV show I agree I mean you Bennett nailed it perfectly but yeah what's his name uh, I can't pronounce his name but uh, we didn't May Jello whatever it is yeah. Joe Mangiello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was basically just a cameo, though. It's a, yeah. Yeah. The Deathstroke movie. also, I think, was on the um, the uh, the Titans TV uh, show. I think yeah. he was. He was. Played Which by, I think that uh, one was more accurate. Yeah, he had more accurate comic book suit with the little... Uh, I'm talking about story-wise accurate than, yeah. than what Manu Bennett did. I'll, oh, you know, um, I agree with you, Manu yeah. Bennett's portrayal was perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm looking at his suit. His suit kind of reminds me of when he was... Uh... And the dynamic between his son was interesting, too. Yeah, right there. Yeah! Yeah. And the thing is, TV show was weird. TV shows have a smaller budget than a movie. They do better. I, I, it's just it's just whoever it's just a studio but yeah that does remind me he also his Deathstroke reminds me of how Deathstroke looked 
in the Injustice game. Yeah. Where it's like I just wanted him to have a full movie because like you yeah. know I mean have... he did have he he did have an animated movie. I want live action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it depends if DC wants to, and especially now since James Gunn's in charge, he's like right? he gets the he gets a say of who's, you know. Same thing with Red Hood. It's like I want a Red Hood solo movie too. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. Again, it's up to the people at Warner yeah. Brothers to decide, okay, who would we want? We're just gonna close our eyes, throw a dart at at a character, and that's our next movie. I love Batman, I love Superman, but we need more characters shown in yeah. and 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 the cause in and because the the t- live action TV shows, animated stuff, we get all that, but live action's like Batman for the fiftieth time. Or whatever. Right. Never anything different, like fifty Superman, fifty Batman, like um, make some character stories that haven't been told yet. Bob, same question: Who, what villain would you like to see have an origin uh, villain movie, or an origin movie? I should say. Yeah, um, I can't think of any for a movie, but I can think of one that I would love to have Marvel do a Disney Plus uh, mini series around, showing both the beginning and the end of the character. And that is Kingpin. Mm. Have so Vincent, you have, have uh, Vincent D'Onofrio. Oh back? yeah, this is like well, he's already yeah. wanting to come back. He's really kind of uh, eager to beat the snot out of Spider Man, or vice oh, versa. That would be cool to see. I mean, but uh, we could we could have a, a a Kingpin like eight episode miniseries that shows uh, that shows it goes into flashbacks with his origin and how he came to be. How he came to be. We forgot some of that during the Daredevil Netflix series. Oh, yeah. Um, but to really give give that whole fleshed out thing about everything from his childhood up until his uh, rise to power along the way. And then also uh, uh, have the, the modern day stories where he's having to deal with uh, uh, Daredevil and Spider-Man Ooh, and yeah, Echo yeah. and Black Widow and that Hawkeye. Cool. And, I would, that would work because he was introduced in the Hawkeye TV show. We didn't like see him, but oh, we heard his voice. He was he was reintroduced in the Hawkeye TV show, and we did see him. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The and the only he was time... in the last two episodes and figured fairly prominently as uh, as uh, uh, in a in his fight with Kate at the end. And the only time we ever got a live action was Michael Clark Douglas or Duncan in the Daredevil movie. That's oh, the only other wow. time. That's the only other live action. Di- and uh, I have to say, rest in peace to that guy. But he did a phenomenal job as Kingpin in that movie. That his yeah. voice is like his voice, his mannerism is just like. Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot of people were resistant to Michael Clark Duncan playing the Kingpin, uh, simply works. based around the race, yeah. but simply based on race. But uh, when he actually, this is another thing where uh, uh, when the when you actually see the actor portray the character. It's hard to imagine anybody else doing mm-hmm. that. But he yeah, did a phenomenal yeah. job he for did. first he introduction did. to live action. Like, yeah, the same thing happened with Nick Fury, you know, predominantly a white comic book character, but people love Samuel L. Jackson. Well, he he had been inter- he had been uh, black in the uh, Ultimate, Ultimate Marvel version. universe right, right. for a few years already. Yeah, because um, somebody fact, uses uh, they used his likeness, and then Sam was like, "Look, if you're gonna make me, make me the character, if you're gonna use my likeness." Oh, Patrick Stewart basically did the same thing. It's like, why am I? Why do I see myself in these comics? Mm. <laughs> well, well, yeah. they actually asked Samuel L. Jackson if he could if they could use his face for Nick Fury. Uh, because uh, when he, Nick Fury, when the original mm. Nick Fury was made, they were going, "Well, who's the epitome of cool?" And at that time, <laughs> Dean Martin was doing spy movies, so it was Dean Martin, uh, and so they based his look on that. So the, when in two thousand and one, when they were putting together the Ultimate Universe, they said, "Okay, now who's the epitome of cool?" And that was Samuel L. Jackson. So they oh, don't actually for, contacted uh, him. They actually contacted him and said, "Can we use your likeness for this?" And he says, "On one condition, I get to play him in the movie." That works. I mean, well, and that happened. And then uh, in like the late nineties, we had um, David Hasselhoff play as Nick Fury. Yeah, and he did an excellent job mm. too. But and um, I'm, glad, I'm glad like they kept the uh, the eye patch, the le- black leather jacket, and everything, and it gave it to Samuel L. Jackson. Oh yeah, which I still think he does a phenomenal job. And like with recent stuff like video games, animated shows, like mm-hmm. that is basically what Nick, who Nick Fury is. Yeah, based off of Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. 
And right now we're sitting here recording this uh, halfway between the last two episodes of Secret Invasion. And uh, uh, I'll tell you, it Ooh. is a corker. It is the best series that, okay. that Marvel's is... put out yet. I'm it like it. Eight o'clock. We started this at 6.30. This is this going for an hour and a half. So yeah. Probably don't so... have to do a two-parter maybe. Um, yeah, I guess... but... Um, but that, but basically, that's my pick. Is that that's, that Vincent D'Onofrio's um, um, Kingpin in a miniseries fighting all of these other all these New York heroes and <laughs> maybe Sony, even beating if, his demise in it. Depends if Sony will give uh, give Disney Spider Man. <laughs> I think they would true, let him have it, let them have it for this. Probably, yeah. yeah, Spider Man has been introduced. Yeah. Um. I guess I'll go. Uh, there's like one uh, for Marvel and DC. For uh, I know we talked about it before we recorded. I would like to see a Magneto origin story. Yeah, yeah. Because we didn't really get to see that a whole lot in the first X Men film and then X Men First Class. We didn't really get to see an origin story. I mean, we kind of did, but at the same time, I would like to see it like be just solo him, like they did with the Joker and Venom and all that. Not like. Oh, I'm just like a supporting character. I like, you know. And um, another one, and I, he's my all-time favorite DC villain, and I feel like it would work, Mister Freeze. Mm. Okay. I would like to see Mister Freeze have his own origin movie. Like, yeah, we know what happens and all, but like. I would like to see one really well done. And I would like to see the guy who played in, as a villain in um, Black Adam. The, I mean, um, not Black Adam, but she's the first Shazam film. I can't remember his name, but I Mark would like Strong? I would like to see Mark Strong play as Mr. Freeze. Um, he could do it. I think he could do it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they may have to. Yeah, they're tech. Uh, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't make sense, but it could work. You know, uh, Victor Freeze is kind of one of the very few comic book characters from you know from one of the two big two yeah. superhero oh. universes who oh. I would term an anti-villain. Oh, and and um, Black Manta from the Aquaman okay. film because yeah, yeah. we did we we saw him in the Aquaman movie for his yeah, first time right. live action, and I do like the little homage they did with his classic helmet before it like blew up. Yeah. Um, you good, Myron? I know it's really oh, late over there. Yeah, um, I was going to throw this out real quick. Um, Mr. Sinister is who I landed on. Ooh. Yeah, because we he, we've been hinting at him in the Fox movies for so long. Oh, that right. we never got him. And if he, you look at all the all the the all the stuff he's done in the comics, like he he's had his hand in um, Cable coming around. He's had his hand in um, so many other so many. Thing is behind the scenes that is Mr. Sinister is the one pulling the strings that, and plus he's apocalypse adjacent too because the reason why he wanted to get a spawn of Scott and Gene is because he wants to eventually take out Magneto. I mean, not Magneto, take out Apocalypse. So I do think that would be a good origin because just because he's got his hand in so many things X Men related. So well, that would yeah, be. I'm done. No, that no, I I agree. The first time I ever heard of uh, Mister Sinister was in the Deadpool video game. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I think that. Sorry, I keep on getting distracted by my ring light. I keep on thinking mm -hmm. that it's the uh, you know, the the uh, the the like when your screen's loading it has that spinny thing in the middle. Oh yeah, I keep yeah. I, I, I keep I keep I keep, like, I, I keep on getting distracted. <laughs> it's like wait, that's where I put my ring light. Um, I think that's that should funny. do it. I may do more versions of this to get other people's opinion. I really do appreciate you guys coming on. Myron, it's always a pleasure having you on as well. Karen, Same. thank you again. Pleasure being here. I know um I know your dad and Sam and brother couldn't make it. So, you know, I, if I eventually I would like to have three of them on to get their opinions. Yeah. Cause I, I, I think this was fun to do. I, I kind of, you know, this is kind of like what are your thoughts type of ordeal. Um, so real quick, you all know what I'm gonna ask you. Start with Myron. Um, where can people find you on social media if they want to give you a follow to check out your cosplays, your voice acting, and your salsa dancing? Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, for cosplay, you guys can find me at, uh, Smooth Cosplay, S-M-O-O-V-E-C-O-S-P-L-A-Y-A. -E -E. You can find me at, on all the social medias except maybe 
Snapchat. I don't know if people are, are people still Snapchatting now. I I, I, I have it, but I don't use uh, it a whole lot. Yeah, uh, yeah Smooth more Cos- yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So Smooth Cosplayer and all the on all the platforms, also Smooth Voices at uh, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. I don't have much up there yet, but that is about to change. Finally, get my ish together and putting some stuff out there. Um, I've been uh, auditioning for a bunch of audio books recently, so hopefully somebody Ooh, will and you do and you have you do have a good voice, man. I Thank will you. say that. Thank oh you. yeah, might so, be from uh, something I wrote too. <laughs> hey, let let me know. I'm down. Uh, I'm down. But yeah, smooth okay. cosplayer and smooth voices on all the things. So yeah. Nice links to that will be below. Karen, where can people find you if they want to give you a follow and keep a keep an eye on your cosplays and future cosplays? Uh, I have a Facebook called Red Rogue Assassin, and I also have an Instagram, which is also called Red Rogue Assassin, which I've been slowly updating new pictures and stuff on. I just have to spend more time on my social media, but we're getting nice. That's all I have. <laughs> and Bob, where can people find you for your zaniness and wackiness? Uh, for my um, cosplay related stuff is posted on Instagram at the slow pace at which I go on that. <laughs> and uh, also on uh, Pinterest as well as uh, several other types of, of things. Um, and uh, find my miscellaneous uh, weirdness and musings and political opinions on Twitter. All of them is just under my name as one word, Bob Greenwade. And you all know where to find me. My link tree will always be in the description below. Looking forward to do more of these and looking forward to do, you know, talk about more origin films. We may do uh, superheroes next, pending. <laughs> I'd be down for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, if, we, if we do that, it's only going to be the first time they were introduced in live action um, uh. movies because I am not going to well, that's a whole can of worms. I, I feel like I'll just I'll feel like I'll just let people pick who they want to talk about because <laughs> yeah, yeah. right might be a better option. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. You don't know where, you don't know where to find them. You don't know where to find me. Until next time. Wait. Rewind. <laughs> let me do that again. <laughs> Once again, I'm Wayne the Unknown. Until next time. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for watching.